Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching another video. And if you're a new subscriber or you're just coming across my channel, hey girl, hey, I'm a low income cash stuffer and on this channel, I show you that just because we have a low income doesn't mean we can't make it work, sis. So, to see how I allocate my low income, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. Okay guys, so I remember to have everything pre-filled this time. And if you're interested in the paycheck budget breakdown or the cash envelope breakdown, I will have them both linked down below. So the first thing I do is I see what I'm stuffing for my 52 week challenge. And then this week I'm stuffing $22. And then we're gonna flip to May to see what bills are coming out of this paycheck. And this week I'm paying my daddy, my father, <laughs> I'm paying him my phone bill and my car insurance. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna begin with the paycheck date. And I get paid every Thursday, so I believe that's gonna be the 27th. And this is gonna be paycheck number four. And we're gonna be stuffing $392. If you're new to my channel, I am not a zero-based budgeter, so I only take out what I feel comfortable taking out and I leave the rest of it in my checking account as a buffer. So we're gonna put 392 on our calculator. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to begin with my bills. So we're gonna see what we're gonna put in our water bill. So what I go ahead and do is, I go ahead and take my cash envelope and see I have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I do whatever my bill costs, which is 39. So I do 39 minus the 16 I already have in here, divided by how many weeks, and I'm gonna be putting $8. I hope that made sense to y'all. So we're just gonna do minus eight. And then for the Wi-Fi, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And my Wi-Fi is $70 divided by whatever weeks that is. And then I'm gonna be stuffing 14. And then my phone bill, I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So I'm gonna stuff 13. And then I take my highlighter and then I'm just gonna highlight what I'm taking to the bank. So my phone bill, I'll be taking to the bank to deposit to give to my dad. Next is my car insurance. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7. So I have 107 in here and I'm gonna put 35. Minus 35, and I'm highlighting that as well. Okay, I don't remember subtracting my phone bill, so I already did. So my electric bill, I still haven't gotten that bill yet, so I'm gonna just take out the 50 like I usually do. My credit card, so I have 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm going to take 39, we'll stop 39. Apps, I don't have anything in here. I just took that to the bank last week, so we're starting over with $4. Um, challenges, oh, none for vacation. Challenges is getting 22. And that is all for my expenses. Okay, so groceries is getting the regular 50. Gas um, is getting 10. Spending is getting 10 as well. 
toiletries um I guess I can throw two dollars in toiletries I brought everything I needed already but this is just to give it a little head start for next time and household isn't getting anything this time so now we are on to our sinking funds I write all of my sinking funds down but obviously all of them do not get stuffed so the ones that are non-negotiable are my wedding my vacation money and emergency so right off the bat we are going to take 50 for my wedding and then vacation money is getting 30 and then emergency is getting five so now i have 50 dollars to do whatever i want to do i could put it towards my debt but as i've said before my debt which is my rooms to go card it doesn't collect interest until 2024 so i'm not really pressed about that if it was collecting interest i would be pressed but i'm not so i have 50 dollars to put towards my sinking funds so zaddy isn't getting anything if you're new to my channel zaddy is my fiance because he has already met his goal of 700 which is for his birthday gift oh myla is a non-negotiable too i forgot to mention that myla that is for her insurance which could go to expenses but i just have it in the sinking funds category so we have 44 dollars now to play with for our sinking funds my home is going to get five dollars my car is going to get five dollars hair is getting five dollars and clothes is going to get five dollars <laughs> and self-care is getting five dollars so now we are done with the five dollar streak so now i have 19 treat yourself isn't getting anything because there's nothing i really want um eating is going to get six dollars we need to beef this one back up because there's nothing in there but a dollar medical is going to get let's get medical two dollars oops what i do how much should i have dang well we're just gonna wing it family um is going to get two dollars as well christmas is going to get two dollars and makeup isn't going to get anything so my direct deposit like i said last video but if you're new my direct deposit it already automatically gets twenty dollars sent to it but it's not budgeted within this because it's already taken out i just put this here because i know twenty dollars would end there and my debt is my rooms to go but i don't remember the balance on it it hasn't posted yet so now what I do with my cash breakdown is I just go ahead and go through every category and just put a tally or number or whatever for how many den denominations I'm going to take out. So for instance, the water bill is $8, so I'm just, blah, blah. <laughs> so just going to take out one five and three ones. And then just go down the list. So now that I have everything divvied out, I'm just going to go ahead and just fill out how many I'm putting here.
So what we're gonna do now is go into our bank envelope and take out our cash breakdown and just simply write the denominations here. Okay guys, so that does it for today's video. You guys have seen how I break down $392. This breakdown was a little crazy, but not a lot because of this mess right here. But you know, this is when we get to become messy. So the cash envelope stuffing is effortless. Unless we come across some 50s then we have a problem counting those. Um, but let me go ahead and wrap this up for you guys because even my candle had enough for me because I don't even know when it blew out. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.